Hi guys, uh, back with my bullet planner again. Um, first of all, apologies for not um, posting a video last week. Um, a little bit of an accident where a can of Coke exploded in my bag and it completely destroyed my bullet journal and wrecked another planner and I was not in a particularly happy place. So I wasn't really up with filming last week. Um, but I'm back this week and then next week hopefully um, I will show you my new bullet journal. Um, I'm currently in the process of setting it up, I'm taking quite a long time to do it but anyway, focus is on the bullet planner. So um, I'm planning the last full week in May and I'm gonna, I'm not really gonna use a kit this week, I'm gonna use a lot more pens, colour blocking, um, I've got some washi and I've got a few stickers to use but I'm not really using a kit. Um, this wonderful day here is the Southwest Craft and Planner Meet, which I'm really looking forward to. And the lovely Cheryl, who is organising it, produced some stickers um, for the occasion. Um, so I have done a setup in my temporary bullet journal for the week using um, some of those stickers. Um, the lovely watercolour hand drawn, they're just really, really lovely. So I'm going to use some of those to kind of add some touches. Um, and generally just see how it goes. So I have this washi here which I am unsurprisingly going to run across the top of the page. Um, also um, apologies if this is a little bit wobbly or a little bit crowded. Um, I've had a little bit of a move around in my office and haven't quite got everything set up yet. So hopefully Hopefully by next week we'll be back to normal service. So, um, it's a lovely watercolour themed and I have this washi that I used an entire roll of in about the space of about a month from, it's an MT washi and then I got another roll and barely touched it. So I'm going to go with that and I think I'm going to use red, I'm going to use mauve liners mostly this week and I'm going to leave quite a bit of space for my, um, happy bits. Last week I went back to having um, the good bits down the side of the page. Sorry, you can't really see that, can you? That's what I mean. I'm still setting everything up. Um, and I really like that because it just makes me think about the good things that happen. So, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, we're counting. One, two, three, four, five. I can't, I just can't help it. And I'm sure there are many people who I think this is absolute bananas, but it is just the way I do things. And yeah, while you while I'm uh, just doing this, you can admire my lovely nails. Um, I had them done today, and they are, of course, my favourite colour orange, which is no surprise whatsoever um and then i got really girly and excited because it's like oh they match my maisie rose so anyway very girly thing to say i'm all i know um so those are my good bits i'm gonna do what i'm thinking about let's just do the date at the top of the week so i know what i'm doing so it's the 21st to the 27th of May. Okay. And let's go for some. <laughs> what have I got in here? Let's go for some blue. And let's go for some teal as well. If I can find what I've done with there it is. No, let's go for green. Indecisiveness. This is what happens when you don't have a kit to work with. You kind of just going for it, being brave, diving in. Um, yeah. The thought processes are not quite keeping up at the moment. It's approaching a half term. It's approaching that wonderful teacher tired stage again where I'm not quite sure which way it is up. But anyway, so we have the 21st on Monday, 
22nd on Tuesday. 22nd on Wednesday. Yeah, I'm counting. It's very strange. You know, I don't know. I know quite, I have quite a few teacher friends who, oh, teacher planner friends who I know through social media. Um, do you ever get to the stage where you do simple things and you have to count it out or say it out loud as if you're saying it to the children? Because I definitely find that. I start talking about things as if I am modelling something to my entire class when I get really tired now of it. It's just one of those things that happens. But anyway, so basically, I'm, I'm going to pause. I'm going to fill in my sleep with my grey mild liner. Um, it's really boring watching me do that, and I should have done it in advance, and I didn't. So I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so that's just my pale grey mild liner that I've used, and then on the kits there is there are some gorgeous weekend lettered strips. So I'm going to use one of those over the grey because why not anyway um countdown stickers because we not you know one day two days to go three days to go four days to go five days to go and then I'll go back and add the sixth in um, a week later on. And then obviously this is going to go smack bang in the middle of Saturday. Because why not? Um, I'm sorry if the camera is shaking. I feel It feels like the desk is moving a little bit. It's a bit unstable, this one. Um, as I said, I will get back to normal stability soon. Um, right. Checklist at the bottom, I don't have any checklists, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this stencil from um, the Happy Planner and I'm just going to add in, going to add in three, I think, circles just for sort of things that are going on and then if I need to add any more then I can come back and do so. I use this stencil so much. Um, I didn't, I didn't even really think I needed it when I got it, but I was like, oh, you never know when you might use something like that. And I have used it, I think, in every single planner that I own. Um, I use it lots in my uh, B6 inserts because they're quite plain. They're not as structured as um, some of the other things I've got. Um, obviously now for this, so it does get a lot of use. And actually, it does help line things up in the Happy Planner quite nicely. Like, it spreads them out and it doesn't, it makes everything just seem really nicely spaced rather than completely crowded and overwhelmed. Um, quickly, I'm going to just add days of the week. Again. This is one of those things where I slightly struggle to do anything other than focus on, so sorry about that. Okay, there we go, done. So. That's the basics of the week there. Uh, what did I want? I want to go back to this one. Um, I'm going to mark out my work time for the week. It's the last week before half term. This makes me quite excited and quite happy. We're nearly there. So, 
out inside this these boxes I will write down the events that are going to work um, if you've been following various different posts in different groups that I'm in or following me on Instagram or anything you will have seen my recent um, outburst I think is the appropriate phrase um, regarding the new GDPR um, if you're not in Europe it's a new data protection thing and we had training at work and I basically turned around and said anything that we use needs to be shredded um, and I was having a minor a minor issue with that or a major issue with that even um, because of the way I plan everything to kind of manage my life and all the rest of it um, so anything now to do with work that I need to be aware of is just kind of like completely anonymised um, which is fine it will just take some getting used to because obviously it's taken me like two years to get round a system that works for me and I'm going to have to change that system dramatically but anyway, anyway it's all, it will all be fine um, this is uh, time for me, probably gym time, if we're honest about it. Um, then uh, I've been quite good at um, my evening routine lately. Kind of last little thing before I go to bed, just check through what I've done, how I'm feeling, what I might need to do tomorrow, all of those things. So. That's been working really, really well, so I'll just mark that time out across the whole week. Um, and then anything else the week comes up, I will add in. So that's kind of like my colour blocking. I know I used, when I used my passion planner a lot, I used to like colour in the entire time block, but actually just outlining it works really, really well for me these days. Um, habit tracker. Let's go back to this. And if I just remind myself, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Um, so I've adapted a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I watched a video by Natalie, Crafting Out Loud, and she doesn't have half track, she has a wellness tracker, and I quite liked that idea. Especially at the moment when uh, where everything just seems a little bit all over the place. Just the little things that bring a bit of stability, peace. It just appealed. So I'm going to go for that again up there. And then I think I'm just going to have like a general this week box. I might go for this green I'll go for a different green oh go for my green mild liner just for sort of incoming things um this is it's it's kind of how I've adapted the getting things done method for me is I don't have like a inbox as such I have an incoming and kind of everything goes on there and then I kind of dish out things to days or just get things done and so that works for me really really well so that's the bare bones of my week without a kit it seems really really sparse but i think i quite like it um then going on to this week this week on to the dailies for the week that's more like it um i have another weekend banner which i'm going to put across this box here because I quite like the idea of having this as sort of like a memory thing. Um, Amy Tangerine, uh, if you don't follow her, has some amazing creative videos. Um, I watched one of her videos where she, I think it was for Go Wild um, or somewhere. Anyway, she kind of taken a page in her bullet journal and dedicated it to the day and had people write things and sign things. So, um, I'm going to hopefully have lots of pretty signatures in this box or messages and things, but I am going to put this big fat sticker up here for the event 
Um, it is, I just think this is gorgeous because it's completely hand drawn and it, I just love it. So I'm going to put it there and if it isn't straight, it isn't straight. It's just what I like. So let's think this through. Oh, I do want to put some colour on here. What colour do I want to put on here? I might put... Oh, I don't know now. Let's go for some green. I'll quick flip back. Yeah, I'm going to go for some green, I think. Where am I? No. I'm going to go for this colour. Because this is fab. Um... I'm not going to put any headers down this week. I'm just going to leave the day headers that are there, that are printed on the page. I'm going to keep it really, really plain. I'm not going to add any of the stickers to this section. I'm just, that's it. I'm just adding colour because I like the colour. I can't remember if I've done this on camera before or whether I always pause and do it, but it is just an excuse to have a splash of colour around the page and then, oh I didn't mean to do that. So I use a thin end for the internal lines and then I use the fat end to have a much stronger block of colour around the edge. Which sometimes is a little bit of a challenge, especially now this is bulking up. Trying to do this line can be a little bit tricky. Um, I'll, cl I'll close my planner in a minute so you can kind of see how it's looking. But actually, considering I've been putting stickers in this for nearly six months now, it's not too fat and bulky. I know sometimes it's a concern for bound books, especially hardback ones that don't have the flexibility. Um, obviously in my passion planner I have like six months worth of washi at least, if not more. Um, I didn't do that bit. But as I said, but the passion planner is not hard bound, it's... Uh, it's got a soft cover on it, so just gonna go around these. Oh. Sorry, that's my phone going off, making bizarre noises. This does require concentration. Sorry, I'm aware that I may not have been as chatty as normal. I think it's because I'm still feeling a little bit flat from the past couple of weeks. But I will get there. I will get there. So I'm going to try and carefully go around the stickers. In pen. Which does require a lot of concentration. Again. See? Stickers now. Like when using a kit. I don't think I need to focus as much. I'm just going to go bish bash bosh done. Well not quite that. But it feels a lot more. Like. It feels a lot more like I can just get on and do it. Whereas when you suddenly take that away. I have a lot more freedom. It's like, oh my word, what do I do? I don't know what I do. But hopefully this will be... This will turn out to be quite a nice spread. I hope. Um, in fact... I'm just wondering, what I did in the holidays was I did have a week where I tried using this as my to-do list and then all of this page as journaling. Which I could do, because I've not yet put anything on the checklist at the bottom. I could extend them. Oh, I'm not sure now. No. 
I'll leave it for now. I might do it just for the weekend because then I can journal here and then have all this space as well for um, follow me. So I'm just going to do a quick dash on those and panic because they sometimes bleed through. No, it's fine. These are the new um, pastel swing cool highlighters, by the way. As you've probably worked out, I do have a bit of a thing for the Stabilo pastel stuff. Anyway, that is about it, I think. Um, so just to go through it all again, um, the stickers I have used are sparse and were created by the lovely Cheryl Batista Pike. Um, one bit of washi from MT, and then all the pens are mild liners and pastel uh, Stabilo pens. That's my weekly view. This is my dailies, simple, sparse, a little bit different. I thought it'd be helpful maybe to see a spread that doesn't rely on a kit to put it together. It's just done on colour blocking and yeah, that's about it really. So as I said, hopefully next week I will be a little bit more with it again. Um, I'm gonna, I'm planning to do a video on my new bullet journal setup um, because yeah, I've put a lot of love into that so far. I needed to after the trauma of last week. Um, anyway, if you are going to the Southwest Craft and Planning Meet um, and you happen to be watching this, hopefully I'll see you there. Uh, if not, um, just have a lovely, lovely week, guys. Um, I will see you next week. And in the meantime, happy planning.